What's cooking, everybody? Really? I'm Bacon Opterix, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. So, a quick little thing. <laughs> Be after, not before. After I ended the episode last time, I wandered back to base and actually found more nickel in the process. So, oops. That is not what I meant to do. Oh, my volume is so loud. All right, time to go back in. Yay. So, what I did with that nickel, though, I don't think... It's been a while. Yeah, that that's still the way it is. Um, but I did upgrade my sea truck's depth capabilities, so now I can go a thousand meters down with that. So I think I'm going to have a little fun with that. Explore a bit in the deep. But I need some food first. So I'm going to go grab that real quick. All right. I got all of my physical nourishment needs taken care of. So let's get rocking. I'm not bringing the the prawn suit with me because it it can't go as deep yet. Cannot go as deep as my sea truck. So I'm just going to dive down with this thing and see how far I can go. So, you know what? I'll just meet you uh, about where I left off last time I dove all the way down here. And I might get attacked by Shadow Leviathans along the way. I don't really know. We'll find out. Okay, here we are approaching the area I could not go before. If I remember correctly, there's still a Shadow Leviathan in this direction. Or, I mean, or there's another one behind me. There's there's a, another Shadow Leviathan somewhere. I don't know if having the lights on makes me more noticeable or not, but I've been driving with them off just in case. So I can go deeper now. And I can't help but notice that... Wait, where was it? I, like, keep getting pretty close to the body caches. Ooh, what's down here? And why don't you want me taking my sea truck? Alright, let's find out. Rude. Oh, can I? I can squeeze the sea truck through here. These are some large kyanite deposits. Is there anything to scan in here is the real question. What are you? Poly cage. Are you good for anything? Are you exploitable? What's going on down here? Is this just a gold deposit? Yep. Not deposit, but... Actually, yeah, deposit. I guess that's the best word. Kyanite. Okay, I'm going to hop back in sea truck and see what what this is about. This poly cage. All right, databank. Nope. Indigenous life forms, flora, sea. Okay, nothing. Oops. You know what? Save. Every time I do that, got to save just to be safe. Weave my way back out of here. I really didn't need to have this module on me, but I have it anyway, so... Let's see, what direction was I going? I think this direction? Or is that just taking me back to... I think this is the right direction, or is it not? I'm confused. Where did I come from? This is too high. Let me dive back down deep towards the depths. I can go a thousand meters down, so... 
How deep can I go in this cave? Will this lead me as deep as I can go? I hope so. I'm killing a lot of fish. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm thinking that this might be leading me. Don't like that. I think this is probably leading me to one of the body caches. I'm trying to pinpoint where that noise came from. Okay, I'm just going to keep moving then. And weave in and out of crystals. Because I can. Rude. Okay, so I'm going to kind of stick in this direction, see how close to that cache it takes me. Oh, he's right there. Notice me not. Notice me not. Fiend. You punk. Why did you swim over here? No! Ow. My precious sea truck. Please get me away and in a safe place. I want somewhere you cannot reach. Like down here. Ooh, like down here. Yes. Like down here. Oh, sheesh. Okay, I assume it cannot get down here. Now, I really need to just... I can't. I don't like that I can't repair it from the inside. Uh, I also don't like just the sounds of him in general. Being around me. And I hate how long it takes to repair! Sheesh. Alright, well, overall, overall we're fine. Everything's good. I can continue on now. There is definitely something done here. It could help you build a record. Yeah, I should have taken the clue from the changing music that this was going to be an important place. But you know, based on what it took to get here, I kinda pieced that together already. That's wait, where's the where's the body cache that I have marked? Is this not it? That one? Huh. How do I get to that body cache, then? Alright. I shall depart my beloved sea truck. And drop down. It's so purpley in here. What are these crystals again? This is like... Not flora. Coral? Not coral. It's not life forms. Geological? Calvarite? No. Ice stalagmite? Not that. What would this stuff be? I'm just scanning it real quick. Morganite. A variety of beryl. Cool. It's just raining down on me. Heck yeah. I like that detail. Man, this place is cool. I like it. Sorry if I'm quiet. I'm just taking in the sights. There's like an Elden Ring cave like this, I think. <laughs> oh, hey, little bots. You're my friends. What is this? Oh, architect component. You will be able to construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. Okay, and that's all that's here? Understandable. I'm gonna have to actually start building Alan soon. I wonder, will there be more story after I build him? Will he, like... Is that the end, or... I, I really don't know what... Like, I don't know how this game ends. Because this time I'm not building a rocket to escape the planet. 
So I'm going to assume that building Allen is the end goal. And the ultimate ultimate ending to to the game as a whole. The architect organs are an are effectively a network of biocomposite and cybernetic material containing a variety of subsystems. The heart is a particularly complex centerpiece in this biological technological hybrid. It moves blood and nutrients throughout the body to nourish and maintain the animal aspects of the alien corpus, while also functioning as the primary energy source for the cybernetic neurological system. Sensory input is processed and filtered into a dense network of incredible computational power, the architect brain. No respiration or digestive systems appear to be present, suggesting a life that is fed entirely by sustained electrical energy, and a body that can survive in environments that are otherwise extremely hostile to most life forms. In spite of its intricate design, the insistence on incorporating biological components c exposes the architect body to the possibility of disease. Fools. Isn't that inefficient? Scroll all the way down. Architect organs. I can make these things. I don't know where root pustule is, but... Wait, yes I do. Yes I do. Okay, so... That's the weird thing. It's like, I can actually... That's why I'm wondering if there's more after Alan, because... You have found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that sarcasm? It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? That seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was imperative. I see. The crystals in this environment are confusing my senses. And yet I feel certain there is something important to know. A facility or a body component. Perhaps both. I cannot tell. Did I just trigger another dialogue option for go down and look for my body? Interesting. I'm exposed. I don't know where. The Leviathan is. I'm just charging. Charging away. It's going to be right over here, isn't he? I believe that's about where I saw him last time. Hey, a rock puncher. Oh, yep, he's right there. No, go away. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you. You punk. I do not appreciate your abuse of my precious sea truck. Now just let me move on in peace. I should probably get out and heal it at least a tiny bit. Because that way it won't get immediately killed. But I am scared and just want to be mobile. Okay, get out. I, I've learned that if I tilt this far enough down, it just forces me out. So I can just... And I can get straight back in the pilot seat when I go back in. So that's... That's why I just, like, point it straight down. It's efficient. It's efficient, Alan. Oh, okay. So I came out from a different spot. That's where I went down, right? Yeah. That's where I went down. And I exited from a different location? Wait, what? Something like that. So what is down here? Ow. I meant to do that. 
This isn't the crystal area. This is just... Why, why are these areas the way they are? Is this just for, like, resource gathering? Because there's a ton of deposits here. Is that just the idea whenever I need mass amounts of materials come down here? That's what it's looking like to me. Okay, so when I can get my brawn suit this deep, that's good to know. Unfortunately, I have to pass two Shadow Leviathans, kind of be in the area of a third. So that's fun, but... Yo, Rock Puncher isn't punching rocks, he's punching crystals. Which are just advanced rocks, I guess. Anyway, I should... I should get back up to the surface. I will meet you all when I get there, unless I find something else cool along the way. I do not remember seeing these down here. Seek fluid intake. Oh, buzz off. Vital signs stabilizing. Reaper's wine glass. Any any practical use? Nope, appears not. Where am I? This is not This is not the area that Didn't I tell you to stay away from what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida is the name. You're on my turf. Oh. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. Okay, okay. I don't know how I got here. But I'm here and apparently I found Marguerite. Water filtration suit? Oh, heck yeah. I haven't had like anything to put on my body this entire time. This is sweet. Okay, so Marguerite's home is here. I thought it was weird. As I was wandering in this direction, I saw these, and I was like, I've only seen those in one place before, and then I saw these plants and scanned them. No practical use, unfortunately. But I kept going. I'm like, this is looking less and less familiar. What's going on? So will I see Marguerite if she's in here? Will she forcibly fight me? Yeah, will she attack me? Yep, there's her prawn suit. I recognize that. Okay, um, knife out? No knife out? Customized prawn suit. Marguerite's prawn suit. The standard issue MK3 prawn, or Mark III, why did I say MK? has been manually altered by its owner, exchanging one of its hot, swappable work arms for the mandible of a young chalicerate. Oh, wow. So she's killed... She's probably killed two leviathans, then. Given the range of available high-tech prawn modifications in the non-classified Altera fabrication suite, these customizations appear to be more of a stylistic choice than a functional one. However, the sharp claw arm could certainly be used effectively in defensive scenarios by an experienced pilot. The custom suit also appears to have seen heavy use over a long period of time, judging by the barnacle overgrowth and permanently damaged sections of the exoskeleton. Assessment. The owner doesn't want you messing around. Water filtration suit. I'll read that later. Anything else fun for me to scan in here? Marguerite, what you hiding? <laughs> Just had to check. Just wanted to see if I could get in there. Knock, knock. Sheesh, she's got a snow stalker in here. I told you to stay off my land. 
You trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not, Altera, why don't you disable that tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. <laughs> Marguerite's so cool. Heck yeah. Okay, so her puppy's gonna guard her personal quarters. She has the skull. Of the Reaper in here. Test override module fragment. So she wants Snow Fox. Already got that. Now I just need to build the test override module. Then I can disable that satellite tower. What satellite tower? <laughs> I don't even know what we're talking about. Hi. Hi, big puppy. Hey, relax. I just... This is so cool. Hey, is this a... Huh, this looks like a a tablet you use to get in and out of places. Man, we act... Ooh, large glass dome fragment. Heck yeah, we actually got to meet Marguerite again. So what's that other base on the surface then? That I presumed to be Marguerite's base. Maybe it was once upon a time. All right, well, I'll be back. Thank you for your... Kindness? Question mark. All right, time to go. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. I felt a suction. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath. But would she sink before or after I died of thirst? I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. At least I wasn't going to die of exhaustion. Now, those Reapers, they're practically all muscle, but there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much, but I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of Reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's rib cage. Oh. Okay, first of all, cool. Second of all, I just heard the telltale sounds of a ship piece somewhere. Pilot last known... There's no way. Pilot last known position. She's been this close. And you're telling me I can get all the way down there without going through the other Shadow Leviathans? That's so cool! I guess I really hadn't been here for a while, huh? Not since I could really go deep. I see the lights are guiding me. So that's my, that's my clue. Seek fluid intake. Oh, shut up! Wait, did I... Yeah, it already hit me with the seek calorie intake. Okay, so, you know what? I'm just gonna, like... I'm gonna drop a beacon right here. Just so I know. Um, here we go. I do still have a beacon on me, right? Oh, yeah, I can put that module in. I do not have a beacon on me. Where did I put the last beacon I had? Oh, well. Sea truck, where? Oh, up here. <laughs> Access upgrades. Let's get you the perimeter defense, baby. Safe. All right. 
Cool. Really time to go back to base. This has been epically fun. Oh yeah, that's where I put my last beacon. <laughs> the one place I found nickel so far. Here we are, back at base. Man, that was quite the trip. <laughs> I, I did not expect to be finding Marguerite again this episode. But I, man, I wonder. Unless that old base I found, what I assumed to be a base, was that like the satellite station or something? I don't know. I have no idea what the satellite thing we're talking about is. But, I'll have to figure that out another day. So, thank you everybody for watching. And, if you want to say hi to me or something, I have a Discord. Come join me. It's quiet, and I like to... Feel free to say hi. Yeah, that. I Man, I grabbed so many resources. Uh, but anyway. Like bacon, stay crispy, my friends, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.